Marcus, can you hear us? Yes, I great. can hear you. Okay, great. We can see you too. Good. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, happy to have you. So I'm really happy to, um, what? I said thank you for having me by way of Zoom. Oh, Sorry, I couldn't be there. Okay, no problem. You can't see us, right? Or can you? Yeah, oh, maybe I, you can. I can see the room. You can see the audience. Okay, great. All right. So um, I'm really happy to um, moderate this panel today. We began um, yesterday with somebody who had some lived experience, and that was very powerful. Um, certainly for me it was. Um, and so I'm really glad that we're going to start with the final panel with somebody else who has um, lived experience. Um, Marcus is um, a, a student at the University of Baltimore, and he's also an outreach worker um, at the Concerted Care Group. And as a former incarcerated citizen, he advocates for prison reform, substance abuse treatment, and mental health services. And I think Marcus is going to ask you to speak for about 10 minutes. I think that's what each of you have been asked to speak for. And um, then we'll take some questions and then wind up with um, some closing remarks at the end. So <coughs> go for it. You're on. Okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, to be clear, am I answering the question? No, you just you can just talk um, for about ten minutes about your sort of perspectives on the future, where we need to go with sort of the issue of suicide and serious mental illness. The questions you okay. Um, the questions you talked to Bridget about yesterday. Okay. Excuse me. What you talked to Bridget about yesterday. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Whatever you and Bridget talked about yesterday. Yeah, we only talked about the questions. Yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> Go for it with those. Yeah, you got it. 